When it comes to the 172, the way Cessna did it is in May of 1955, they took a Cessna 170B from the, uh, from the assembly line, went ahead and certified it, flew it for about 12 hours. Then they, they deregistered that 170B and, and registered it as a, an experimental research aircraft. They converted that airplane into a nose wheel uh, airplane with the square, square tail that we're familiar with with the 172. In October, this plane was completed on the assembly line. The plane flew about 12 flights after that with the FAA, and the FAA subsequently issued the type certification almost a month later on November 4th. The, the story of the airplane itself is it went immediately to a flight school and uh, flew about 600 hours in the first year. It went through now a total of 16 owners. I'm the 16th owner. So the previous owner, Joe Nelson in McKinney, Texas, is the gentleman I bought it from. He owned the plane for 23 years and he's really responsible for a lot of the uh, the equipment and all the little intricate details of what we needed for the restoration. What we did is we flew the plane for about a year and a half just to make sure that everything was fine. Has the original engine, uh, the engine's been overhauled several times but still the original case, original log books. Uh, so we flew it just to make sure everything was fine. Then we tore it down to nothing and basically did what, what you'd consider a rotisserie re restoration on it. So in 1961, it was painted solid blue, and a lot of people remember that, you know, solid blue with white wings. And unfortunately, before they painted it, they used Scotch-Brite to scuff the surface. So that meant that when we went back to polish it, once the, once the paint was off, we actually had to use fairly fine-grade sandpaper to get the scratches out before we could start the polishing process. But it takes about 45 minutes a square foot. My best guess, I'm gonna say 400 hours on the polish. Without having all the back backup of all the pilots around and all the, the, the interesting information that people can give us about what's correct about the plane, it would not be what it is today. It's a great airplane, it's a Cessna 172, flies like a Cessna 172. Kids like to fly in the plane because they can actually see out over the panel, they're looking straight ahead of them instead of looking over to the side all the time. So it's just a great flying airplane. So my, my father and I, you know, live about, it's about a 10 hour drive between the two of us. So we don't get to see each other a lot, but this is something that we do every year. We come, we spend the week and it's the two of us. And uh, you know, it's a, it's a common interest and he and I both love aircraft. <laughs>